Shalom, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, and the belongs to the apostles and elders of GMS that taught us this word. I just want to do a video on how, you know, the nations are mad. Like, more and more, we're seeing in the news how these nations are displaying their anger towards, you know, America. One example is uh, the situation with the Chinese uh, consulate. Uh, America, or the U.S., uh, forced that Chinese uh, consulate to shut down in Texas and you know China retaliated by shutting down you know, the American consulate over there in China and uh, another incident over there in uh, the Middle East with Iran a while back one of their military leaders was assassinated by you know the American forces and now they're saying that they, they're going to get that revenge for that they haven't they haven't forgotten, you know, that, about that assassination. And so this is just, you know, these the angels, you know, working on the minds of these different nations um, and preparing for, you know, World War Three. And we're getting much, much, much closer. Uh, I got an article out of uh, RT News or RT.com. Um, it was published uh, July 21st, uh, last Tuesday. It's entitled, We Will Never Forget, Iran's Supreme Leader Meets Iraqi uh, PM, Prime Minister, and Vows to Strike a Blow to U.S. in Revenge for Killing of Soleimani. Uh, Iranian leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei warned that the U.S. will see further retaliation for the January drone strike on elite commander Qasim Soleimani, telling Iraq's premier that uh, Tehran will resist American meddling in the region. Uh, Khamenei met with Iraq Prime Minister Mustafa al Qadhimi in Tehran on Tuesday the PM's first trip abroad since taking office in May. During the talks, Ayatollah stressed that American presence in Iraq is an ongoing source of corruption and destruction, citing Soleimani's assassination earlier this year in Baghdad as a case in point. They killed your guest at your house and explicably confessed to the crime. Khamenei said, adding that the U.S. and its agents are always looking for a power vacuum in the region to create chaos and pave the way for their intervention. Uh, the Islamic Republic of Iran will never forget this and will definitely strike a blow to the Americans. Uh, uh, the assassination of Soleimani commander of Iran's elite Quds force skyrocketed tensions between Washington and Tehran, triggering an Iranian missile strike in retaliation and a rash of warlike rhetoric between the two sides. The strike also incensed Baghdad as a top Iraqi militia commander was also killed in the blast. Iraqi lawmakers voted to expel U.S. forces from the country, deeming the kill operation clear violation of their sovereignty. While that moved while that move never shaped shaped and has since stalled, Kamani encouraged Al Karhimi, who was not in the office at the time of the strike in January, to renew the push during Tuesday's talks. The Ayatollah also emphasized the need to expand Iran Iraq relations in all areas, saying reason, religion, and experience required it, but warned of foreign forces that might look to disrupt improved tides. Of course, the expansion of Iran-Iraq relations has op opponents led by the United States, he said. He said, arguing Washington did not want to see an independent, strong Iraq. Abba added, in no way should we be afraid. Uh, following the sit-down with Khamenei, the Iraq P 
p.m. appeared at a news conference alongside Iranian President Hassan Rouhani, echoing the Ayatollah's calls for improved relations and insisting he would not allow any aggression or challenge uh, to Iran to be launched from Iraq territory, Iraqi territory. skip down a little bit um, top level meeting comes as Washington continues its crippling maximum pressure sanctions uh, campaign on Iran looking to completely dry up the country's oil exports and deprive the state of a vital source of revenue the US has also pushed to extend an arms embargo on Tehran in recent weeks and moved Iranian Foreign Minister Javid Zarif would it, uh, effectively dismantle the 2015 nuclear deal signed between Iran and other world powers. But yeah, now it's talks of uh, Iran and Iraq coming together, you know. Yeah, China is upset. But yeah, it's all, you know, prophecy, you know. The nations are raising, rising up, the nations are mad. Right here, the quote that he said, the U.S. and its agents are always looking for a power vacuum in the region to create chaos and pave the way for their intervention. Yeah, they're always, you know, setting up their democracies, you know, their philosophies, you know, taking out uh, leaders and setting up their puppets in the land, you know, as a, what he said, a power vacuum. But, um, and the nations are getting tired of that. Um, the first scripture is uh, Jeremiah 51 and 6 flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul be not cut off in her iniquity for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance he will, he will render unto her a recompense yeah what's that recompense you know, he's going to destroy you know Babylon America off, place, off the base of the planet with uh, thermal nuclear missiles Babylon has been a, a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken, and the nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad, you know, they deceive the nations, you know. Like example right here, you know, they destroyed one of their top military commanders, so they're upset about that. Uh, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take bomb for her pain. If so, be she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her, and let us go every one into his own country, where her judgment reacheth unto heaven, and is lifted up even to the skies. Yeah, it's like they have made all the earth drunken, and the nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. But, you know, all this is part of the Most High's plan, you know, the Most High is sending up different angels to work on the minds of these different, you know, national leaders, these different sovereign countries, the leaders of these countries to uh, fight against America in this World War III. But eventually, you know, all these nations are going to serve us. I mean, that's, that's the whole purpose of them, to even, why they were even created, you know. At the end of the day, these nations were created to serve us, and you know they're going to bow down and build up our walls. This is uh, Isaiah 34 and 1. Come near, ye nations, to hear and hearken, ye people, that the earth hear, and all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth of it. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations, and His fury upon all their army, armies. He hath utterly destroyed them. He hath delivered them to the slaughter. Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of the carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood, and all the host of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, and all their hosts shall fall down, as the leaf falleth from the vine, 
and as the fig falleth from the fig tree, yeah, it says, uh, the host of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heaven shall be rolled together as a scroll, that's that, that mushroom cloud, you know, that nuclear destruction, that's going to touch down on these different, on Israel and America and all these different places, you know, so it shall be rolled together as a scroll, because when you look at a mushroom cloud, when you roll up a scroll, it, it resembles, you know, that mushroom cloud, and that's how the Most High is going to bring down these nations. Next scripture is uh, Isaiah 60 and 10. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their king shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Therefore thy gates shall be opened continually. They shall not be shut day nor night and men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles and that their kings may be brought for the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish yea those nations shall be utterly wasted so at the end of the day all these nations are going to serve us man when you look at the word forces um, the Hebrew word is uh, chayal chayal um it means the strength, the might, efficiency, the wealth, the army, you know, the wealth, their, their strength. So that men may bring unto thee, you know, the wealth of the Gentiles, you know, the strength of the Gentiles. They're going to bring us all their wealth, you know. And for the nations that don't serve us, you know, they're going to be utterly wasted, as the scriptures say. So, yeah, I just wanted to bring out this little article. You know, the nations are mad. Uh, they're rising up against Babylon slowly but surely, and you know the angels are working on the minds of these different leaders. Um, and that World War Three is right around the corner. Uh, so with that, you know, shalom.